Hello everybody, I am Nico D, so today we're gonna take a look back at the Oldroid XQ4 and gaming on it. It used to be the most powerful SBC there was and certainly for gaming, but now it has gone very old. A lot of more modern SBCs can outperform it, but it is still a good SBC to use. So I've made gaming videos about it before, then we used to use GameStation Turbo from Maverick, but now that also has gotten too old. There hasn't been much updates on it, so it is better to use his Debian images and you can download them on the Oldroid forum. So go to the Oldroid forum, XU4, other OS and there you will find the Debian images from Maverick. So here I'm using Debian Stretch. All Maverick his repositories are included in these images, so you can just install all his games on it. This image I find the best for playing Linux games. I will show you another image for playing emulation, emu -ilic. Of course you can install all the emulators in Stretch too. So now let's go see some games. Something the XU4 does really great is DOSBox. Here I am playing Aquanoid, one of my favorite games of back then. I've gotten it back from one of my best friends, so thank you Yuri. I love this game, but it seems a lot harder than it used to be. But why we really want to use Maverick his image is of course the Linux games. So here is Smoking Guns, a game I didn't know. It is pretty cool, but it is also a bit broken. One of my favorite games here is Edgecraft Championship. It is really an awesome racing game. For these games the Oldroid XU4 really is great. You cannot play these on the Oldroid N2. So for that the Oldroid XU4 is still the best Oldroid for Linux gaming. Another game that I already showed but that I really love is World of Batman. I love the vibrant colors in it, it is really great. Oh, oh. 
course we want to be able to use this image for browsing and other desktop tasks, but there is one problem here. So Chromium and also Firefox don't seem to work, so for that I am using Vivaldi Browser. So to download Vivaldi Browser we type in this, then we install it, and I open Vivaldi with these flags, so with this it is hardware accelerated, so video playback is really great at 1080p, that is something that didn't used to be possible in the Game Station Turbo. One of my big batteries over there, so uh, that's not necessary. I don't know where I go today, but we'll see. Maybe to Verna, but I don't feel like going home yet. So I'll see. One emulator that works better in Stretch than in Retro Elec is PPSSPP. But you have got to set the display resolution to 720p, then it plays perfect. Even games that other SBCs have troubles with, it plays really smoothly at 60 frames per second. I did record it here with my capture device, but the sounds didn't record. It did play the sound perfectly, but it was my capture device that didn't work well. But as you see, it is 60 frames per second with NASCAR, and also compared to Retro Elec, it plays a lot better. In Retro Elec, PPSSPP doesn't play well. So now let's go to Retro Elec. So this is being updated a lot, almost daily. This is using a very recent kernel. It also has got Kodi for watching videos. And of course Retro Arch for playing games. So to download it, we again go to the Oldroid forum, there to other OS, and here you see Retro Elec. And you download it. Just burn it onto an SD card or an eMMC. It works best of course for emulating older consoles, though some Dreamcast games do work well. That was a surprise. So here you see NASCAR with PPS SPP, so it doesn't work at all. Also Wipeout is the same, it just lags a lot. It's not playable. So for that stretch is a lot better for PPS SPP, but of course a lot of other consoles do play very well. With Nintendo 64 games it's a bit a mix. Some games do work well, some others don't, but that's the way with most SBCs and Nintendo 64 games. Nintendo 64 is very hard to emulate.
All the PlayStation 1 games that I tried run very well, so here is Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 with PSX, the XU4 doesn't have any trouble. And as last the Dreamcast. So some games do work well, some others don't. Here is Aqua GT, it isn't perfect but it is almost playable. So now as conclusion, the XU4 can still compete with other SBCs but it isn't the best anymore, so the RK3399s are now better for Linux gaming and the N2 is better for console emulation. But the XU4 can still do both very well. It does PlayStation 1 very well, it does Nintendo 64 ok, some games do work great, some others don't, all the older consoles it does perfect of course. Like Super Nintendo, Master System, Mega Drive. Should you still buy this board in 2020? If you really want it, yes. But the RK3399 is a lot better overall. Or the N2 if you only want to play emulation. So that's it for today. I hope you all liked my video. Please subscribe to my channel. See you all later. Bye.